just Mar from the city of Santa Antonia. And yeah, so this is the how the hair will look like. Of course, I didn't do my hair or makeup or anything. So this is basics. Okay. This is basics. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Oh. It's like you know, longer from here, shorter from here. Oh, it's a mess. Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about. Oh, sorry. It's super hyper sunny. I cannot even look to the, to the screen. Sorry, I'm gonna put a cap. I know that you might wonder why do I use a cap all the time, but if you haven't come to Shenzhen, then you wouldn't understand why. Look, if I not put a cap and I do these facial wrinkles, it would be worse. I <laughs> mean, with time, yeah. So I put a cap and stay cool. Oh, I just bought a new cap and I forgot it at home. It's a UV cap that will cover my whole face. It's not just a cap. I'll put it after. Anyways, today I want to talk with you about some personal life things, okay? Oh, it's weird. Sorry, my hair is so weird. It doesn't matter. Um, so many of you ask me how I, how I ended up in China and I wanted to share a bit of that story so okay first of all I I didn't think about China when I was smaller like oh I want to go to China and study Chinese and become a, become a Chinese uh, China businesswoman no and when I was in high school, sorry for the noise, this is China really everywhere. So noisy and so busy. When I was in high school, my father came to have a job opportunity to move to Singapore. Singapore, you might know that country. Look at these flowers, they're so beautiful. Okay, oh, they look like these ones. So, um, he was taking that chance and I was offered the chance to move with them and then I will be left behind the scholar uh, year. I mean, the, sorry, sorry, it's too tired. I forgot Monopoth. And then I decided that I wanted to go to Singapore too and I will be behind one year yeah so I went to Singapore and I started studying in Singapore American School oh yeah it's called SAS in the Goodlands area of Singapore if by any chance some of you watch me from Singapore I like that country and I hope to be back and if you are from Singapore and you want to start doing business with China please be my guest seriously um, as I said the platform in version English English version will be ready soon Oh, by the way, all of you guys that have brought me before in the past weeks some emails about business or some other stuff, please write back because back then I was too busy and I received a ton of emails. Now I'm okay, so now I am ready to pay attention to your request and your letters. So just write me an email to uh, order at fromchinawithlove.tv order at fromchinawithlove.tv Thank you very much. Okay, so <clears throat> I arrived to Singapore and then I was delayed in my studies because my, first of all, of course, my English wasn't that great and isn't that great still, but I speak however. And after, because of course the school uh, education system in Singapore is one of the, I think it's the top maybe worldwide. So compared to the Mexican one, it was a really big gap there and I couldn't catch up with the other students. Such a shame, but yeah, it was like that. But anyways, I do not regret any tiny bit that I made that decision and I moved to Singapore and started kind of from all over one year behind because I learned a lot of things too. and. I learned so much from the environment, from the culture, from the people. My God, I miss that place. I really want to go back. If there are business chances, of course, for sure, I would like to travel there. 
So if you are from Singapore, mwah, I love Singapore. I used to live near the Orchard Road there in a very beautiful place. And then school was super hard there, seriously. I was like, Ugh. I will start doing my home tasks, like my homework from four and I will sometimes finish even at 11 p.m., which was like insane. I will cry, I will be depressed, frustrated because the school requirements were strictly high. The education standards are so demanding compared to Mexico, like, okay, whatever, we can make it. Last minute homework, no way. Here, back in their Singapore, you can't do that. So you have to make really good and conscious uh, homeworks just really needs a lot of time and effort anyways so that that is why I moved to there because of my father job chance and I start really loving the Chinese culture there because as you may know there are so many Chinese there immigrant Chinese that place is mainly formed by before Han the Han race the Chinese race and I'm sorry if you, some of you might be offended if I say like Chinese. Of course, Chinese from Singapore and Chinese from China are not the same, I know. But I'm just saying that some Chinese from mainland Im immigrate to that place and they form that place. And that place is awesome. It's so wonderful. It's like a Disneyland. It's so safe, it's so beautiful, it's so green. But it's too small also. So, but it doesn't take the credit of the amazement of that amazing place. Also, I had a lot of fun. I have a lot of experiences and such and such for... Uh, I, I was there for two years, I believe, or one and a half. It was, yeah, quite so. 2005 to 2007, almost. And then, at that time, it was when I started liking the Chinese culture, the Chinese song, because everywhere they would bring Chinese songs. And the whole Chinese thing, because I had Chinese friends, of course, and then they start taking care of their skins and I was like, oh, I was 18, 17 by that time I was like, wow, I have to take care of like that because I want to be beautiful as them when I grow up and then I was influenced by all this culture and all this hmm, ambience of like really hard work really innovation oh, look at these flowers Okay, so I was so astonished by how a, such a small country can be of such greatness, yeah? And of course the people work seriously hard and everything is super clean and everything works so perfect and everything is so fast and everything is also so expensive. And then I went back to Mexico and I started, well, I started one major called business creation and development of, yeah, okay, it was like entrepreneurship, a major on that, and I love it, I love it with all my heart, and I was doing really good on that, but I realized it is that I, had, I wanted to create my business in China. Of course, Singapore and China is not the same, but I have already the roots of the Chinese culture, and I mean, I had already liked that Chinese culture thing, so I was um, curious about China and I read all these things about business in China and because I was always liking business, then I decided China would be the place for me to start my company and here I am having a company in China after eight years of long effort. Ah, yeah, thumbs up. I tell you, there are not many YouTubers company, business, mm, people out there because it's either or you're managing our business or you're making and editing super beautiful videos. It's hard to do both and I'm not saying you cannot do both but it isn't that easy. Yeah, I'm, I, I try to hold and grind and keep the job coming but anyways. So, um, that is why I ended up in China after I was two years of a junior, how to call it? Sophomore and junior, is it that? Yeah. 
first and second year of university in Mexico of my entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship major, I decided to move to China and I start all over again, again, from Beijing, in Beijing. I went to a school called VLCU, it's Beijing Language and Cultural University, and I studied Chinese for one year, just purely Chinese. And I stayed there for one year and a half, and it wasn't a suitable place for me, so I moved to Shenzhen and I started almost all over again. So this is why I'm here, and that is... I hope that solved your question, because so many times I got asked why I'm in China, why I decided to come to China. And I remember that I really liked the Chinese songs when I was in Singapore and I started studying the lyrics of the songs, I started reading the Chinese. So for me it was kind of pleasurable to learn Chinese because I wanted to once be able to understand songs. And it was 2005 when I went to Singapore, so now it's, 2000, it's almost yeah, 10 years ago. I wouldn't imagine myself be walking here with a camera recording for you too. And that people will like look up on me, look up at me like if I am like a China business, uh, you know, mentor, coach. Because for Mexico, for some people I am, since I am doing a lot of business with them. So I feel so fortunate. Thanks a lot to the live. Lunch time. So this is what it is. I think I have a love for Asia and I have a passion for business. And yeah, business. B B B. You know what is B? Business. B again? I'm not. I'm just not gonna mention that word because then <laughs> this video will just go thumbs down. Seriously, just get a life. It's just I'm a person with different kind of personalities. Yeah, different kind of beliefs as well as you are. But look at the greenery here. It, this looks so much like Singapore, seriously. It's just like so I like Singapore, this Shenzhen. Singapore, I hope to see you soon again. Kisses to the world. Be in love. Just forgive me for this mess with the cup. But it's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. From China with love.